In this video, we're going to go over applying font effects. It's exercise 2.1c, as in citrus, on page number 43 and on. So, first of all, the step one uh, tells us to um, type up the text on figure 2.3. It's at the bottom of page number 43. So the, the content is uh, Chinese abacus. So go down to, let's see, um, we're going to go down to the bottom of the document by pressing and holding down the control key and the end key. So the control key is here the end key is here. So hold down the control key and then uh, the end. So the insertion point it will be at the bottom of the document. In fact, we are not going to bottom of the document. In fact, we're going to just go to the the end of this, this cell. I think that's where we should be. So at the end of the cell entry right here the insertion put the insertion point there and then press the enter key and then type up the the content on figure number 2.3 on page number 43 so i'm going to just go ahead and quickly paste it and then backspace up there and then it's about chinese abacus so if you are going to if you're going to copy the content from uh, from the course website that's perfectly fine but I do want you to read the content in fact it may not be directly related to Microsoft Word but there are some things that that are related for example carpal tunnel syndrome that we typed in the early exercise it is important that you know by typing and if not reading it so uh, this particular section we will be learning about superscript and subscript. So for example, the way you type, let me go over here. So the way you type, uh, okay, let me just go down here. The way you type this is something like this. So press number five one space and put letter X as in alphabet XYZ and then one space type 10 and then one with zero so right now it looks like a five followed by a blank space followed by letter X and followed by another blank space and then followed by 100 and then we're going to change, we're going to make it to 10 to the zero power. And the way you do is select the last um, zero and then use the superscript uh, tool, click on it. And then uh, to get out of this superscript, you just click uh, on, let's see, I guess you're going to have to click on that uh, to get out of the uh, superscript mode. So that's one way to do it. Another way to do it is the other way around the way textbook shows, 5, 1 space, x, 1 space, 10. And then you click on the superscript tool. So whatever that I've typed from there, it'll be entered as a superscript. And then uh, click that superscript tool once again to come out of it. One space, I'm sorry, not one space. Uh, let me just go back. And so let me just go ahead and do this from the beginning. So five space, X space 10 and then click on superscript tool 
then press zero so that'll be 10 to the zero power and then click on the superscript tool again to come out of the superscript mode and then press comma now it's like a normal comma space or five comma and so on so that's how you use uh, superscript so let me just go ahead and delete that part and backspace all right then we're going to move on to step two and we are going to change this um, the formatting so right now it has bold and underline and there might be other formatting has uh, if you didn't do it you know it could there could be some other uh, the format um, properties already applied so one way to remove the older formatting is this tool so clear all formatting click on it it takes out um, everything that I apply we applied earlier so for example this here is Cambria bold italic and now is Calibri now is Calibri the font it's got a default font size 11 no bold no italic nothing all right and then we're gonna go to the uh, the style text effects and typography so text effects and typography and click on it and then you have a array of choices and it is very important that you follow the exact wordings in the instructions so for example on page number 43 step 2 step 2 and D as in David and it says click on the text effect and then text effects and typography and click on the font group and then click on gradient so this is gradient fill dash blue comma accent one comma reflection option so that's what it is and it says second column second row so here's one first column second column first row second row so second column second row so that is gradient fill blue accent one reflection so the way you uh, match with the instruction is you hover over and then you'll see this uh, little blip shows up showing up with the detail uh, the name and then go on and click on it and that style text effect and typography is applied to the title all right so let's move on to step three it's on page number 44 so let's move on to step number three it's at the top of page number 44 it's about applying uh, strike through formatting so under the a section under the a section there's an applet entry and then they want to apply a strike through so select the word words so starting from this comma generally created created using the java programming language comma so just like that and then you want to leave the blank space before the word that so they uh, want to put the sky uh, strike through by the way there's a different ways that you can use the mouse click on it and hold it and then go all the way here and you can select it 
So that's one way to select it, but it's uh, it requires a little finer uh, motor skill when you're using the mouse. So another way you could do it is click on um, right after the letter M in the word program and hold down the control uh, shift key and then come over here and then click uh, hold down the shift key shift key is right here and so hold down the shift key and then click right after the comma there so so in general in computing shift key holding down the shift key means in select in between so that's something that you may want to remember if you want to select the range of things letters and um, items and so on hold down the shift key click one end and then click the other end okay so let's put the strike through and notice that there's a line goes in in the middle section so that indicates removing um, that's good and then let's go to step four and we're going to select all so how do you select all press down the control key on your keyboard with your left thumb the control key is right here so hold down the control key and letter a with your index finger so left thumb on control key and then index finger letter a so that will select all and let's change the color of the font so click on it if you click on this it will change the color to whatever that that is already uh, pre-selected but they want to select uh, a red color so click on this more button here and then come on down and click on this let's see let me make sure so um, dark red that's first color option in the standard color section so here's standard colors section and here's the first color option so click on that that changes the uh, the font color and then um, step five we are going to highlight uh, a range of text with a yellow color so we're going to select the term beta version so go to B section and then click and then scroll down hold down the button and then go to the end of this entry or you can uh, click click so double click in the selection area so selection area is it's not very clear so if you move your pointer near the, the text area you will see kind of eye beam pointer like that all right so that's different from insertion point insertion point is that's the one that blinks um, in the text but I'm talking about the one the pointer that looks like an eye beam and then when the pointer goes away from and to the left of the, the text the pointer becomes from eye beam to pointer so that's where you can that's like a that's the, uh, the selection area so double click so that'll select the entire paragraph and then apply the background so background the highlight let's click on the more button and they want you to put oopsie uh, click and then text highlight button arrow and then turquoise third column first row third column first row is this one turquoise just hover over it and, 
and then click and then select the cells entry so it's just cells entry here double click and then click the text highlighter and go to yellow click on it and then click on yellow so it says yellow here and by the way if you just hover over it says turquoise and each color has a name that's a pink you see the little blip just hover over it pink and that should say red and that should say dark blue and so on so let me just click on the yellow and then that's basically it and then we're going to move on to step six so step six is about applying an italic italic formatting so go to section a and then under android here's android and select the word robot so double click on the robot the word robot and then hover over just like a jump over there's a, a quick toolbox there so click on letter i so that will convert the text into italic and that's it and go ahead and save it you'll be by the way you'll be just keep saving back to the same um, files that c02 e01 terms and at the end of uh, exercise one you have basically one file